rough week all week from work because <coughs> do you hear that he smokes a pack of cigarettes a day just kidding was that inappropriate sorry so anyways as I was saying it's been a rough week she's been sick I've been home with her all week we went to the doctor yesterday and she's a severe case of croup um, I don't know if you're familiar with croup but I'm not going to go into it. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to pretend to like know everything about it. But she has strider, so her trachea is, I guess, very inflamed and swollen, making it hard for her to breathe. So we are on three days of steroids, I believe. Um, so hopefully the doctor said in three days the croupiness and like the difficult breathing will go away. So talk about scary. That's been what I've been dealing with this week. Um, sorry, I haven't been able to have enough cough because we haven't been sleeping well at night. That's been my week. I haven't really been um, wearing that much makeup or trying filming one day this week and running to the doctor. I haven't really been wearing um, that much makeup. So I, I have a couple things. Um, that I want to share with you guys. Honestly, when you're stuck home with a sick kid and you're not able to um, shower some days, yes, disgusting, I know, but I've been home with her by myself and she has been so needy and needing constant attention that sneaking away for a shower has been difficult <laughs> um, to get ready. You know, you just sometimes need to, to, to for me anyway, when I put on makeup or it just makes me feel like a normal human being and less of a mother chained to their child, which I know that probably sounds terrible and if you're easily offended, I apologize. But, uh, anyway, moving on. So I recently got the Mario Badescu, the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This was at the recommendation. I mean, so many people use it, but uh, it wasn't until my friend Ashley from Texas Mom like, you have to get it, you will love it. And honestly, I was a little nervous because I'm not a huge, like, rose-scented lover. So I bought it. I had a gift card to Ulta, and I had to get some other skincare. So I'm like, oh, I'll pick it up. What? Why not? And I absolutely love this. Um, I spray it after I moisturize my face, and I sit down at my vanity before I prime. I spray it on my face. And then I also use it at the end to, I don't want to say set my makeup because I don't know... Um, it's it's not it doesn't claim to be a setting spray but I just like it at the end it kind of takes that look like sometimes if you put too much powder on your face can look a couple um, pumps of this on my face kind of brings back that glowy look without being like shiny so I really enjoy Ascu's on Hot Look and I did go ahead and buy another one while it was on Hot Look and I think it might even be a bigger bottle I don't know I don't know Go to this week that I've really been loving uh, has been the Guerlain Meteorite Pearls. This is the Lay Ors, and then the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I recently did a Get Ready with me. I'll link it below, and I used both of these, and I absolutely love these two together. And I'm sorry if you hear Mickey in the background. This is my life. This is going to be a Mommy Weekly Favorites. I'm sorry. Um, not sorry. These two together. Is, this gives you like a lit from within. Glow. Cannot wear my pixie primer that I love this time of year because I just look like a giant grease ball. So this absolutely love and unfortunately this was limited edition for the summer last year so I don't believe you can get it and of course you know the naked skin foundation I absolutely love this this stuff I pull it out when it starts to get warm because this is like my perfect summer foundation um, it leaves me like matte but not too matte so maybe like a semi matte finish which I really, really enjoy, and it wears very nice, especially when it gets humid and hot, so I love it. I've been loving the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. My friend Kate, Kate the Redhead, sent me this for my birthday, and I really, really, really enjoy it. 
Um, it has shea butter in it, so it really, really makes my lips feel amazing. And you know, my lips are the first to show signs of dehydration, and this stuff has been an absolute savior. And I will tell you this, since I haven't been able to do much with myself this week because I've been tending to a sick child, throwing this on my lips just gives it the most beautiful, subtle pink tint to the lips because it adjusts with your pH. And oh my God, I can't even. I really, really love this. And how stinking cute is the packaging here? It says, live, love, laugh. So adorable with the pink top. I absolutely love this. So thank you very much, Kate. I'm really, really enjoying it. Another favorite this week has been this Napoleon Perdie Angled Contour Brush. It's 15B. If you watched my Get Ready With Me, I did use this and I apologize. Yes, it is dirty. I used it also today. Kristen gave this to me for my birthday and oh my god. I was using the NARS Eda Brush, if that's how you say it, and I really liked that. But then I found that the more I used it, it was like making my contour like separate. So the more I would use it, to, it was great to put like to chisel out my cheekbone to, to where I wanted my contour, but to actually blend it out. I don't know if the bristles were, I don't know. It would just leave kind of like a mark of separation and I wasn't loving that. So Kristen sent this to me for my birthday and oh my God, this has been my obsession. I love it. It is so easy to do your contour. So if you struggle with that and struggle with blending it out and making it look natural, whatever. I know I'm a little crazy when it comes to contour, but that's my style. That's how I like it. But it's really nice to blend out. It's just beautiful. And it's the perfect shape. Swirl it around in my contour powder. And then if I just kind of put it here and make a couple lines, and then what I like to do is just then take it sideways and blend it out. And you can use it, you know, here, down the sides of your nose, your jawbone. It is just perfect. And it's so soft. It is gorgeous. I don't know where I was when, did I mean, did this, I don't know. I don't know, this is a beautiful little gem. I haven't heard many people talk about it. Looking for a brush that you can use to, to shape and chisel out and then to blend, I would highly recommend this. Again, it is the Napoleon Perdie, I think I'm saying that right, Angle Contour Brush, it's 15B, love. Now for my eyes, I'm wearing this today because the, what, three times I put makeup on this week, I wanted something super easy because I know what's been going on in my house this week. So I wanted something easy. The Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Amethyst. Ugh, love it. It's just a gorgeous, like purpley, it is gorgeous. So I've been throwing this from my lash line right up to the crease. And then I've been taking a flat shader brush with this Burberry Single Shadow in Midnight Brown, which is divine. Jackie, Jackie St. Germain, YouTuber, check her out. <laughs> this L'Oreal, this Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. It's a two-stepper. It has the primer here and then the mascara here. I don't prefer the mascara, but this Prime.com. Yes, I'm gonna be cheesy for a second. This is amazing. Curl your lashes really well and then put this on your lashes. I put a couple, you know, I go through a couple times and really coat those babies. And what it does is it puts little fiber tubes on your lashes. So not only is it giving you volume, but it's giving you length. I also put them on my lower lashes and whew, up so with my Dior Show, what is it, the Iconic Over Curl. And, I absolutely love it. And I would say this, um, you don't have to worry, sometimes people are like, oh, with the tubes, are they gonna like clump and flake? I do not experience any of this, and I use all kinds of mascara. mascara can be used with that. You can also use the one that comes with it. I'll show you the wand. I don't, I don't prefer this mascara. It's not my favorite. I don't necessarily gravitate towards L'Oreal mascaras. For some reason, they just don't work for me to try it. But I trust Jackie, and so when she's like, this is amazing, and she did a demo on camera, I'm like, oh my god, I have to have this. And I really am glad that I got it for the primer. I think it's like $11 when I got it a while back. Not a while back, but you know what I mean. Um, which, is that pricey really for one? I mean, I have the Dior Show Iconic Cover Curl, so clearly Mama is not afraid to spend money on mascara. 
So, but I love it. So if you struggle with keeping your lashes curled, keeping them separated, keep, I like to use this kind of to shape my lashes, if you will, and kind of get them how I want them to look. And then the mascara just kind of coats the white. And on the bottom lashes, I don't know, hopefully this is focusing. It just does wonders. Bottom lashes to look just like my top lashes. So if you like that full look, top and bottom, uh, try it. The blush I've been loving this week is the Bourjois Cream Blush. This is the number two. My friend Beth, um, Beth Smith on YouTube, from she's from the UK. She sent me this wonderful box for my birthday, which I will be doing an unboxing of that. I believe that is going up um, sometime the first week of June. Uh, and yes, I have all my videos written down and planned. she sent this to me this was in my get ready with me like I mentioned before that video will be linked below oh and I think you can get this on ASOS is that how you say it ASOS.com but it is freaking beautiful and I you know in I don't have many cream blushes but the formula of this you guys is amazing i'm wearing it today so what i'll do is i'll do my contour i'll do my bronzer and i know you really shouldn't put cream on top of powder but i find that there isn't that separation so what i'll do is i'll take this and I, in my video i used a stippling brush which you can do where you can just pounce it in and then feather it on but what i found that works the best is if i put a little bit on my finger and then i kind of just pat it here and then take the stipple brush and kind of feather it out so it gets that blended look absolutely love gives you that peachy glow without being like orange if that makes sense so love 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 this if i can find it online somewhere i'll link it below i highly if you have the tarte captivating blush these two together put this on top it with this dynamite my go-to when i'm feeling kind of crap i don't mean like i hate myself but just like blah like i'm in a funk like what's wrong with me i always turn to my urban decay revolution lipsticks and i'll tell you why they are beautiful and they feel so amazing going on i just feel like a whole new person when i put these on and sometimes i won't even be wearing makeup and i'll just go into my collection i'll grab one of these and i'll put them on and i'll feel 10 times better about myself i don't know there's just something about them but the two colors i've really been enjoying this week um the first one is Anarchy, and this is just a beautiful blue-based fuchsia. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorites this time of year. Absolutely stunning. So stunning. And then the one that I'm wearing is my all-time favorite lipstick of time, like hands down ever, is Rev, and it is in Catfight. Something right when they reformulated these and repackaged them because the packaging is just so luxe and the colors and the pigmentation and the formula and the staying power, I absolutely love. So this is just more of a red-based pink. Absolutely love. Those were my favorites this week. Before I let you guys go, yes, I'm gonna continue talking. Like I said, I haven't had much interaction this week, so Mama's got a lot to say, even though it's really about nothing. Just so you all are aware, we're having a video up every day, yes, every day um from now until june 8th so i will be appearing in your feed every single day just throwing it out there if it's too much of me obligated to watch although i would like it if you did getting backed up on videos and reviews i've got amazing products i've been trying to share with you i have a vitacus haul a hot look thing i've got an unboxing i've received so many amazing gifts from my friends for my birthday and i've been using all these new products i just have a lot to share with you guys so for the next 10 days nine days eight to ten whatever you're gonna see me every day so then after that you're gonna see me four times a week you're gonna see me tuesday thursday friday saturday my, fr my weekly favorites will be now be Friday favorites because I knew when I was writing down my schedule, I knew that by taking up a day to do a weekly favorites, I was going to get backlogged and that is absolutely true. So I'm going to do four days a week. I'm going to try that for the month of June and see how I promote my Instagram. I always just kind of put it at the beginning of my videos, but Instagram. 
I am very active on Instagram. Like, I'm probably like an annoying Instagrammer because I post like, not annoying, but I do post a couple times a day. You know, I'll post like what lip I'm wearing, what I'm loving, you know, pictures of my family, things like that. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do. Um, I always list where you can find me creepy below and then I always you know insert my Instagram name whatever it's just a great way for us to communicate back and forth I've actually you know developed friendships with some of you through Instagram video, give it a thumbs up comment as usual the interaction lately with you guys has been amazing and especially weeks like this where like I'm kind of cooped up in the house and I don't really have a lot of interaction your comments I don't want to say keep me going, but it's just, they keep me sane. So always comment if you have something to say. If it's a question, ask me. And I always list like what I'm wearing below so that you guys know that doing this. And so as, as long as you guys continue to love me, I will continue to put them, put, put videos up for you. Next time you guys, I hope you have a, gr you had a great week and I hope you have a great week coming up and I will see you back here tomorrow with another video it's very very interesting um my friend bonnie and i are kind of doing a five pen challenge no buy so if you're interested in hearing what that's about um stay tuned for tomorrow's video bye guys